1866, Henry Lawson's mother, Louisa Albury, a young bush girl, was sitting on a log in Gumsawang, central New South Wales, one glorious afternoon, when, to her surprise, a young Norwegian gold digger seemed to want to say something to her. Now, she wasn't sure whether he was painfully shy or couldn't speak English, but after a, a long silence and a few false starts, she heard words coming from his lips that she never expected to hear. He asked her, If, if I had a house to take you to, would you marry me? And she, being only 18, having no experience in such matters, found herself replying, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. Now, Louisa, the second eldest of eight children, forever being kept home from school to help her mother with the endless chores, knew nothing of this man, except she knew he spoke five different languages and he'd offered to build her a house. Now surely, surely that meant that she would be spared the squalor and the struggle of bush life. Ten miles down Reedy River, pool of water lies, and all the year it mirrors changes in the skies within its deep broad bosom is room for all the stars its bed of sand has lifted o'er countless rocky bars around the lower edges there are waves of bed of reeds where water rats are hidden and where the wild duck breeds and grassy slopes rise gently to ridges long and low, where groves of wattle flourish and the native bluebells grow. Beneath the granite ridges, the eye may just discern where rocky creek emerges from deep green banks of fern. The standing tall between them, the drooping she oaks cool, the hard blue tinted water. Summer branches. 
his mother wrote a poem, Don't marry a man to reform him, which was aimed directly at Bertha before she had every intention of reforming Henry, and even his publishers at Angus and Robertson, George Robertson, who was becoming a very good friend, desperately tried to persuade Bertha not to marry Henry. He sat her down. He said, please, Bertha, please, I have three exquisite daughters of my own, but I would rather see them dead than marry a temperamental genius and a drunkard like Henry. But Henry whisked Bertha away, and he won her over with this rousing poem. After all, the brooding ghosts of a Australian night have gone from the bush and town. My spirit revives in the morning breeze, though it died when the sun went down. The river is high, the stream is strong, and the grass is green. Squinting out of dawn, Billy boy, 
ducks are flying near me. 